جمال الوجود بذكر الإله وتصفو الحياة بنور هدى جمال الوجود بذكر الإله وتصفو الحياة بنور هدى وتطلب نفس له شغوف إلى ربه أحب رضاه أحب لقاه يظل يجيء إلى ربوة قرار ويسمو Hello from Istanbul Airport. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ahmed. Today's video is a very special one. Now, before I get started, Salaam Alaikum, which means peace be upon you, whoever you might be, whatever you're from, whatever religion, you know, still peace be upon you. Today's video is a, you know, very unique one, very close, dear to my heart, because today, you know, me, my family, and all three kids are gonna go, God willing, inshallah, uh, perform Umrah, which is uh, what we call a mini Hajj you know, in Saudi Arabia, in Mecca. What I have here is the Haram set. This is basically white cloth, doesn't have any stitches. So there's a point on the airplane when it gets to a certain point before Mecca, where if you have attentions to do Umrah or Hajj, this is what you wear. So no matter what status you have, how much money you have, whoever you are, everybody wears this and it does not have any stitches. So nothing fancy, literally just a white cloth. So love excited, nervous. We got three kids with us. So usually you don't go with kids. So we're gonna see how it goes. But with that said, I'm gonna go um, change into this. We got another hour, hour and a half before our flight takes over. And you know, mentally get ready for uh, Umrah. All right, off to a plane. Kids are not helping. They haven't had a nap. So they're acting a little uh, goofy, especially this one right here. And let me show you what Sada's wearing. So Sada doesn't have to wear anything but you know, her typical clothes, you know, shoulder to a, uh, right before her toes. And most of the time it's black. You happy Sada? Yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. About to get on a plane. All right, finally settled in. Very small window. Very old seats for sure, but hey, we're blessed. Can't complain. Kids are not helping at all. Despite the worst that have been in a very long time. It means I've been very patient. <laughs> We are here. This is like one o'clock in the morning. You can see right there how busy it is. One o'clock in the morning, 77 degrees, which is not bad. Daytime, it gets to 90 degrees, 90, 93. So it's much better to do it during the night. And it's less crowded for sure. We got Sada here. Sido sleeping. Yeah. Got a new, got a new toy. So first thing in the Umrah is making our seven rounds because that's what the Prophet peace be upon him did. So we're going to do our seven rounds around Kaaba. Uh, so that's what we're going to do and then we'll walk you through what the next step is. Now we are on the second floor which is where the families are. Wheelchair, strollers and you know me I already timed it. It takes us seven minutes to make our whole circle around Kaaba at uh, this speed right here. So seven minutes. All right so a little bit of history. I'm definitely not an expert so this is just basic stuff. The Kaaba, the centerpiece, uh, the black box, uh, there is nothing inside. And this was originally built by Prophet Ibrahim, aka Abraham. 
and his son Ismail. Ishmael. So those are the two that originally built this. And also this is where Prophet Adam asked for God for forgiveness at this uh, place right here. So that's some basic history on Kaaba. Now, as you can see, you know, it's still under construction. As you see, the lights are going out. You can see right there, they still have it under construction. And this place is pretty much under construction 24 seven because it's the biggest mosque in the world. Depending who you ask, what sources you look at, this thing can hold up to million plus individuals praying at the same time, which is just amazing. But you think of like a football game or a soccer game, you know, you're talking about 40,000, 60,000 capacity, and this thing is million plus. So it's a really large space and it takes an army of individuals to keep up with it keep it clean keep it organized these are waters right here so they have them all throughout for people to drink it's zam zam water it comes from a wheel below mecca and they literally have it every few yards you happy sada can you believe you're here no no we are on our second round so halfway there not halfway there a little bit there we still got some work to do all right guys so we just finished our seventh round on kaaba uh, once you finish that drink some zum zum water and then two prayers uh, behind that glass dome so that glass dome uh, once again dates back to the uh, prophet ibrahim after this uh, we're gonna head over to marwa and safa it's two mountains there and then you'll see that here in a little bit All right, so the next thing is Mountain Marwa, Mountain Safa. You see those green lights behind me? So it's a good distance. You can see it goes pretty deep and it's two ways. Now we're at level two, which is much bigger. The one at level one is very, very crowded and very narrow. So I recommend doing the second level and there's a third level as well right above us. And of course, this is where Marwa, my oldest daughter is named after. Mountain Marwa. And by the way, right now it's four o'clock in the morning. Like I'm not kidding you. You can see how crazy busy this place is. Four o'clock in the morning. And it's gonna get even more busier. Morning prayers in 30 minutes and the natural prayer is at 5:30. This place is gonna be crazy packed. You're gonna see. And here comes the green light. Let's go, Marwa. Let's go. Light. Marwa, are you running? Marwa, are you running? Come on, skeleton. And uh, the green lights. Second round run. All right, just finished the seven rounds at Marwa and Safa Mountain. The last step is to get a haircut. They have to cut all around this, so I'm doing tiny pieces all around. So that's what we're doing. And it's 20 local currency, which is about six bucks. So here we go. It's the quickest haircut of my life. It takes like two minutes. This place is open 24 hours a day. Every day, literally 24 hours. Now this is one of the cleanest ones. You should see the other ones. The other ones are like crazy packed. Uh, and it's not much sanitation going on. All right, it's official. Umrah is done. And the only thing left is the sara. So women do cut their hair as well. Just a finger length of their hair. So we'll do that at the hotel. Here I got something to eat because we're starving. And then a morning prayer and go to sleep till uh, 12 o'clock. So Umrah is done, alhamdulillah. So it, it takes about two to three hours. It's definitely tough with the kids. So we're gonna, we're gonna switch it up tomorrow. Put the kids to sleep and then we will rotate with the main sara. So maybe we can get that quicker. And maybe do two umrah tomorrow. We'll see. We're at Masjid Aisha. So once you perform one umrah, then you have this is the reset uh, point. So it's a 20 to 25 minute drive outside of Mecca. So you come here with a taxi, you do two small prayers, and then you make your way towards back uh, Mecca again to start another umrah. So back here for reset point, shower, clean up, and start uh, umrah all over again. So that's the journey so far. My first umrah was very tired because I was up for 30 hours and performed it. It's definitely not easy. It's very, very crowded. Uh, it definitely takes a lot of uh, energy, but you know, it's well, well worth it. It's definitely a lifetime opportunity for sure. <laughs> okay, that's, that's yeah. Okay, that's enough. All right, guys, back in the car, making our way to uh, Mecca. 
And we got the Ibrahim Mafia here. So we're doing our initial prayer. We got our brother here from Uzbekistan helping us out. <laughs> So this is where the Haram line starts. So every prayer from here on counts much more deeds. I think it's 10,000 deeds per prayer. All right, folks, we're end of our video. But with that said, don't worry. We have two more videos coming your way at the end of this screen that you can click on. With that said, thanks so much and please don't forget to follow us.